Welcome to an episode of Worthy of Me. In this episode, we're going to be talking about puzzle boxes. Puzzle boxes uh, can range from pretty simplistic to outrageously difficult. And if you haven't seen a YouTube channel, Chris Ramsey, then you should go check him out because he does a lot of these puzzle boxes that are more on the extreme side. Links to these sites will be listed below. And thanks to Brandon from the band Ocean Lux for the background music. The first website we're going to look at is Labsterium Creations. This is actually a French website. I got it in English mode right now. But uh, some of the stuff that they've done as far as Puzzle boxes are the examples of mechanisms. They do puzzle rooms as well, I believe, it looks like. Rooms and mechanism sets, so that's pretty interesting. Just, uh, I guess you have to email them and request. Just request what you'd like and uh, have a conversation about it. As you can see, this is a Chris Ramsey puzzle that he got recently as of this video. It's very unique. I don't know how long it takes to make these, but I do know they take a very long time. The second place is Art of Play. And these puzzles are a little on the smaller side, I believe. I don't know if they're just as difficult can be. Uh, I think there's like level 1s to level 10 puzzles, maybe? Not sure on that one. But uh, the one that caught my eye on this website was the Do-It-Yourself Puzzle Box. So you can build your own mechanical puzzle box with a do-it-yourself kit. Obviously this isn't the... Um, how do I open this thing? What are the mechanics to opening it type of box? But you can assemble it yourself. Some of this stuff might be pretty interesting for kids and stuff. Ugears.online is kind of another build it type of box place. Uh, they have a whole lot of things from beginner, intermediate, to expert. These aren't like all kinds of puzzle boxes though. So you get the wooden 3D puzzle model kit. Yeah, treasure box kit. So you can kind of like create your own stuff. Mechanical box. Steampunk clock and all that stuff. So this is sort of an honorable mention, I suppose. Cubic Dissection is a website with a bunch of cubic mechanical puzzles and puzzles boxes. You got Where's My Hammer, which is sold out. A bunch of lock ones. I don't know if these are... I assume they're puzzles. But the Stepping Burr. Got all these things. It's a level 10 interlocking burr puzzle. So these aren't all simplistic by any means. And I don't know if they have them in like specific levels in their own categories or if they're just scattered about. Kagansound.com is a place where he's got a few different uh, boxes for sale right now. The honeycomb maze box, uh, the rune cube. He's done several of them, I know, and I believe you can contact him for maybe a commission. Ominous Hum is a uh, Utex, which is a puzzle designed and made by Andrew McGill. He acknowledges information on the puzzle. I don't know why I said acknowledges, really, it's about, about the puzzle. You can email him if you would like one, a special commission, I suppose. A very simple site because there's one puzzle. Codex Alinda is a website with, I believe these are book puzzles? I know they were on Kickstarter. Let's take a look at this. Codex Alinda is a five page mechanical puzzle book. Each page is a mechanical puzzle that must be solved and unlocked in order to open the next page. 
In the back of each page, a story is revealed, depicting the adventure of an apprentice of Leonardo da Vinci. It's a very interesting concept they have here. NKDPuzzle.com is a French website. They have several different puzzles. I believe these are ones you can make yourself, build them, like kits. Um, let's go ahead and look at this Mechanigma. Mechanigma requires 3D printing, laser cutting. There's all long hours of design. In addition, our puzzle box re requires a large workforce, more than two weeks. Uh, Enigma box and 15 movements with gears and articulated me mechanisms. Cut and assembled with the greatest care in our workshop. Okay. So it opens in 15 steps minimum and has a combination lock. And it was made by a 3D printer. I'm going to assume some of these you can actually put things inside, like money or like little gift cards and stuff like that. Can you imagine building one of these and setting it in a Christmas present or something, just giving it to someone, seeing if they can open it? They might never get their Christmas present. You'd be a complete asshole. CT Fine Furniture creates, well, furniture. And sometimes this furniture is puzzles. Let's take a look at this one. I believe this one. Not that one. This one definitely. Alright, designed for the magician Chris Ramsey is a place to hide several decks of his signature playing cards. This box hides 16 drawers of storage sizes behind a variety of puzzle me mechanisms and automated movement. So yeah, he, this uh, Craig, I don't know how to say your last name, I apologize. <laughs> in create stuff like this, um, they can be used for furniture, uh, putting items in obviously. Very, very unique pieces of work. So if you want something like this, you probably contact him for a commission. Puzzle Master is a place where there is all kinds of puzzles. I'm going to assume they're from novice to extremist, but I guess there's puzzles for anything you would like. Including wood puzzles, puzzle locks, boxes, wire and metal puzzles. Oh man, so many puzzles. <laughs> Etsy.com is a huge place for artists to have an artistic freedom of any kind and create a bunch of masterpieces. Uh, so you can find a bunch of puzzle boxes on the site and you can, you know, do a deep search for it. Uh, one of the puzzles you can find is a painted Hellraiser functional puzzle. So this is a puzzle from Hellraiser with option for a stand. This is a functional, movable puzzle box that changes confirmation based on how you try to solve the puzzle with your hands. And of course, you can see a bunch of reviews. Etsy is a very good place to search for all your needs. <laughs> Even if they don't have it search for it. I don't know. Thank you for watching this episode of Worthy of Me. If you found it worthy, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now. If there are other websites or personnel who could commission, someone could commission for a puzzle box, feel free to state them in the comments section, and I will see you all on the next episode.